Just under a year passed, Republicans in Congress cautioned that Venezuela was evacuating its penitentiaries of ferocious criminals and transporting them via migratory vans into the United States. Across the southern boundary, they were ridiculed at. They were fact-checked by traditional Soros kinds such as the inhabitants of PolitiFact. But certain adequately, the intelligences quoted were factual and the Venezuelan gangsters are in the U.S. In Chicago, a Venezuelan refugee has been incarcerated on three occasions while arriving in Chicago three calendar week ago, establishment reported on Tuesday as he showed up in felony bond court on a shopping mall stealing charge. And while metropolitan officers make an effort to plan on how to deal with the constant influx of immigrants, Tuesday's inquiry intended a highlight on alternative concern, powers that be might not identify who some of the refugees are. Anduesa Cormina, 34, and Yeber Kalmanarez, 22, were detained Monday at Macy's, 111 North State, after they endeavored to pilfer hundreds of cash value of outfit, Vice State's attorney Joseph Sorrentino communicated to Judge Mariam Ahmad in the court proceeding, which relates fine to what the Congress associates were cautioning about all along. An alliance of House Republicans headed by U.S. Representative Troy Nels, Republican Texas, is asking for solutions about Venezuela discharging fierce convicts untimely and forcing these individuals to embark on a trip via caravans en route to U.S. southern border in a correspondence delivered to Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. I quote, we need transparency and accountability from this administration, Nels tweeted when broadcasting a memo he and his contemporaries delivered late last week. In their message, the faction articulated grave worry concerning a current DHS intelligence information at hand by Border Patrol that orders officers to comb for violent convicts from Venezuela among the migrant caravans en route to the U.S.-Mexico border. It has occurred extensively in reports that the lethal narco-terrorist Maduro government in Venezuela is intentionally freeing violent jailbirds early, incorporating convicts sentenced of murder, rape, and extortion, and forcefully directing them to join convoys en route to the U.S. Some of the freed detainees have previously been seen in refugee caravans itinerary Tapachula, Mexico, toward our southern border as currently as July of this year, denoting that they could now be in our midst. Predicament afflicted country, an indigenous crime surveillance faction said in a statement on Thursday. The South American Republic is in a fifth year of economic depression triggered by a downturn in oil prices and an unveiling communist economic model. Three million Venezuelans have escaped violence, high inflation and scarcities of basic goods and services, most since 2015, regarding the United Nations. The Venezuelan Observatory of Violence, OVV, reported in its yearly report that Venezuela still had the globe's topmost recorded murder percentage and a rate of 81.4 per 100,000 denizens, but it noticed that number was low from 89 in 2017 and 92 the year before. Director Roberto Brasino credited to the decline as a fragment of the ongoing relocation. Biden has a job up his sleeves due to the current migration issues from Venezuela. Handling this delicate issue is a real challenge to his administration as Congress is in dialogue stage on how to curb this situation. Change, just policy-wise. Well, we are expecting to see a lot of uh, migrants are amassing this video footage of them, some uh, you know, waiting for you know, the expiration, which is coming, as we said tonight. Um, you know, talk us, talk to us a little bit about the preparations being made on the U.S. side of this. Obviously, the troops being sent. Um, is it expected to be enough? Uh, you know, what's what's it going to be looking like tomorrow? Well, there's, there's two sides to the story. The administration says they've been preparing for a year and a half for this. They, you know, they, they, they say they feel prepared. It is going to be a, a crisis no matter what. Again, because the policy was lionized and it became a source of uh, disinformation and misinformation. And there are some people in migrant groups that believe that it will be a policy change that will make it easier for them to enter the United States. And that, nobody thinks it's an open border, but but there is that rumor is, circul is you know circulating among migrants, and that will most likely cause a, a very significant upsurge in, in encounters. Now, so the administration says they've been preparing for a year and a half. Those those uh, active duty troops that were sent. We're, we're sent sort of to help with clerical duties, transport.